Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at 10 features and settings on the Amazon Fire Stick and they'll help you get maximum usage out of your Fire Stick. So without further ado, let's get on it. So the first one is the Amazon Fire TV app. Just go over to the Google Play Store and type in Fire TV and download the app. Now the great thing about this app is that it's got all the functionality of your remote control and more. And a new feature gives you vibration feedback on your phone. And you've got all the features of your remote control. Also, there's an on-screen keyboard, so no more fiddling with the remote and Alexa is available at the top if you touch the microphone. And you've also got access to all your applications on your Fire Stick. Now, number two is screen mirroring. Basically, you've got the ability to mirror your phone or your tablet screen onto the TV. Just keep your home button pressed down and you'll get the following menu. Scroll across to the third option, which is mirroring. And the Fire Stick is now waiting for you to mirror your device to it. Now go onto your phone. Now my phone's a Samsung, so I swipe down and across and I select Smart View. And after a few moments, it'll start connecting to your phone. So once you're on, you can use your phone as normal. Now, if I browse the internet, I can view it on screen. And if I rotate my screen, I can go into full view. Now, this next feature is called HDMI CEC control. It basically lets you use your Amazon controller to switch on your telly. And the TV will automatically switch to the output of your Fire Stick TV. So if you're watching terrestrial TV and you want to switch over to watch some Amazon Prime video, you just press a button on the Amazon remote and the TV will automatically switch to your Fire Stick homepage. To set this up, scroll over to Display and Sound, select it and scroll down to HDMI CEC Device Control. Toggle it on and you're now able to power on your TV and your Fire Stick TV with the Fire TV remote. Okay, now this next one, some of you may know. Now you may find your Fire Stick's running slow and sluggish. Now one of the main reasons for this is that the Fire Stick is reaching its storage limit. So you need to scroll across to My Fire TV, select and then select About and scroll down to Storage. And there you can see on the right, I have 520 meg of 5.28 gig available. So I could do with deleting some files. Okay, so the next one sounds quite obvious, but a lot of people still don't know about it. And that is the ability to add Bluetooth devices. So go into settings and scroll across to remotes and Bluetooth devices. From there, scroll down to other Bluetooth devices. And finally, go down to add Bluetooth devices. So from here, you can add your Bluetooth headphones, remotes, keyboards, and mice. Now for the next one, let's say you're in YouTube and you close down the app. Well, the app is still running in the background and using resources. So to fully close it out and free up memory, we need to go into settings and applications and scroll down to manage installed apps and select it. And from here, we need to scroll down and find YouTube. Once you're on it, select it and then scroll down to force stop. Now this will stop the application completely from using up any more memory on your Fire Stick. Now my next hidden feature is found under accessibility. So select it and scroll down to screen magnifier. Now if you toggle it on, you'll get a whole host of options. If you hold the menu and fast forward, you'll be able to zoom into the screen. Now this can be useful if you're using the internet browser and you've got some small text on the screen you need to view. And by holding the back button and fast forward, you can toggle it on and off. Okay, so this next feature covers adding a USB port to your Fire Stick TV. So the Fire Stick comes with one port and it's where you plug in your power to the Fire Stick. So what you can do is buy an adapter that incorporates a USB port and a power input and it comes in a smart little package like this. Now I've left links in the description below where you can get these on Amazon. So it just plugs in like this and your power cord goes in the top here. And that means you have this free USB port where you can plug in your USB drive for extra storage. Or you could plug in a USB Ethernet adapter for wired internet for faster download speeds. Okay, the next one sounds pretty obvious and it's the ability to surf the internet on your Fire Stick TV. So if we do a search for Silk Browser, you can see it's an official Amazon app and it's got some pretty good features to help you browse the internet. There's a homepage with trending videos and there's an on-screen cursor to help you browse and you've got the options to change the settings here and all sorts of shortcuts on your remote control to help you browse better. Now for the next one, I'm going to show you how you can do software updates on your Fire Stick TV. Now Amazon does release updates to their Fire Stick periodically. So if you do have a problem with your Fire Stick, it might be fixed with an update. All we do is scroll to My Fire TV and About and scroll down to check for updates. And as you can see, I was in fact due an update. Well, okay guys, that's all I have for you this time. Now if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.